Welcome to my channel. If you lost access to your Gmail account because of two-step verification, maybe due to change of phone, loss of phone number, or not having access to your eight-digit codes again, worry not. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the step-by-step -step process to recover your Gmail account without a two-factor authentication. As you can see on the screen, this is my lost Gmail account, and I'm going to use it as an example in this video. Here are the three options provided for me. Number one, eight digit code and the two phone number which I don't have access to again. As you can see, if we click on eight digit codes and we enter any random uh, codes, you will see that it is not working, okay? As you can see, it is showing wrong code. Even the one that I thought is the correct one is not working again. Also, if we try, if we click on try another way, the same problem persists. So what you are going to do is very simple. You are going to open any smart browser on your phone, maybe Chrome, Firefox, or Phoenix. Then the next thing you are going to do is to click on uh, Account Recovery Support Google, or you can simply type Google Account Recovery. Then you scroll down a little bit, you are going to see this particular page, which is uh, um, support.google.com. This is the one we are going to click on. It's going to take you to this place, uh, and you see tips to recover account then the next thing you are going to do is to scroll a little down. Then you are going to see this particular option, which is uh, recover your Google account. Okay. So after clicking on recover your Google account, it's going to take us to this place, which is actually the account recovery page. Okay. So guys, before we move on, it is important you take note of this. Google account is not something that you can lose and get it back easily because you don't have a direct contact to them. So when you still have access to the account, it is important you save some important information like eight digit codes or the SIM card that is connected to the Gmail. It is important you save them down in case of the day like this or before you sell out your phone or you change your phone, just try and recover the account in another phone before you give it out. And another uh, important information is this if you have more than one devices, it is important you have your account on more than one device so that when you don't have access to the one, you can easily go and recover it from another device. I think you understand. So what you are going to do is this. On this account recovery, the first thing is to type in the Gmail account you don't have access to. So let's type it. Alright guys, as you can see right here, we have just entered the account we want to recover. Then the next thing we are going to do is to click on next. So guys, after clicking on next, it's going to take us to this place. So the first thing is to enter any of the password you could remember last time. So I'm going to enter any random password at all. It doesn't matter. So we are going to click on next. So after clicking on next, it's just load and take you to this place. And as you can see here are the options are given to me to recover this account. Number one is to enter one of your eight uh, digit backups, which I don't have. Secondly, I'm asked to enter the phone number so that I can receive the OTP I don't have. So what I'm going to do now is to click on try another way to sign in. You understand? And as you can see, I've clicked on try another way to sign in. Although the difference is that I'm in the location where I created this Gmail. I think you understand. So the reality is this. If you want to recover your account, it's either you have the eight digit code you have the backup email address, you have the backup uh, phone number, or you are in the location that uh, you created the account initially. Or finally, you are with the phone that you use, you last use the account on. I think you get the point. So here are the options right here. I'm going to click on try another way, okay? So after clicking on try another way, it's going to show us this, which is a uh, get a notification through the device you sign in last. So if you are with the device, uh, you click on this, then you get the OTP or they'll ask you if it is you, then you recover the account. And another important thing is this. If you don't have access to any of these, you have to go to Gmail Premium because through Gmail Premium, you can directly contact Gmail, that is direct peer-to-peer -peer chat so that they, you can complain your problem to them then they will have it rectified. But that is premium Gmail. So in my next video, I will do certain research about a premium Gmail and let you know if it is possible 
to you for you to migrate to premium and chat to, with them directly so that they can assist you out okay so as you can see right here if we click on this which is a uh, you know this particular option here get notification then we'll just click on yes and as you can see the account is going to be covered because i see our verses to the phone number so i will need to wait for 48 hours so that um, i can continue because i've tried for a long time so guys the next thing you should take note of is this beware of scammers because a lot of people have been asking you that they can help you recover your account nobody even google don't have a facebook whatsapp telegram account okay they only work through google and they only have their office so anybody that comes to your dm asking you to help you recover accounts so that you can pay them or asking for initial payment before they help you recover uh your account are nothing but uh france stars so you have to take note of them i think you understand so that is it for now and this is what i have for you at the moment thanks for watching